So, what's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Brinks. And this video is pretty much like an update for you guys. So, before we get started, just go ahead and cue the intro. Alright y'all, so you guys probably remember the last video where I said that I was going to do the Savage Fenty for my photo shoot this coming Saturday. We are officially at one week mark, but you guys might not see this video until Monday, so we'll probably be literally six days away from <laughs> the photo shoot. Six or five. <laughs> I mean, if you're counting Saturday or six, but you guys, I am not going to do the Savage Fenty. I know, I know it was really, really cute. I am going to do it for a separate photo shoot, but I'm not going to do it for the photo shoot workshop that I was thinking about doing it for. I'm actually going to create something. So this could be like a possible future line type idea and if you guys have not noticed that I've made a new playlist strictly for my designs um I know you guys are seeing that I'm going in a couple different directions on my channel here recently like I've started doing movie reviews and game reviews um as well as like my fashion hair and makeup type stuff as well as you know when Christmas comes around the vlogmas and keeping you guys updated on TK. So I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to redo the intro soon and take out stuff that I'm not really doing. Or then, or maybe possibly just make this like an all-purpose channel. A lot of people say when you create a YouTube channel that you should have one main focus. But I feel like if you have multiple focuses, just kind of separate them into playlists like I've been doing. Um, and it kind of goes for like whoever's interested in that specific focus, so to say. Um, so like I have viewers who are interested in like my hair and makeup videos. And then I have other viewers who may be interested in just like the fashion hauls. And then there are other viewers who may just be interested in my cooking videos. Like... Um, like, I mean, you can have a wide range of things with your YouTube videos. Just kind of separate them up. You don't have to create a whole new channel for a specific thing because like when you do that, you're pretty much starting yourself completely over from the bottom to the top. And at this point, like I don't have enough, I don't have enough subscribers to be doing that. So I'm, I'm literally going to be at zero. Um, So you guys will start seeing me branch out more into um different things but i think for the main part um there's not going to be that many changes to the channel it's still going to be things involving tk cooking fashion videos um hair and makeup videos designing diy video model vlogs like when i'm doing fashion shows either as a designer or just modeling in them as a model um, did I say cooking videos? Cooking videos, redecoration videos, because you guys know I love doing a lot of DIYs. Um, you guys will start probably seeing some type of um, wedding DIY videos as well, because I love wedding decor. Um, so I do create a lot of stuff. Like for my wedding, I created most of my stuff, the centerpieces, the table pieces, my cake stand like I created like all of that stuff so you guys may be seeing like another section on this channel specifically for like um event decorating and event decor so stay tuned for that I'm not sure how soon I might start that up but it's definitely going to be something that's going to come into play on the channel but for the most part it's fashion hair makeup DIYs, um, reviews, mostly horror for movie reviews because like that's kind of where my focus is. 
movie wise anyway like I like romantic and drama as well but horror is kind of more where it's at for me um so that game DIYs depending on if I'm really interested in the game or not um I'm not sure if I'm going to start actually gaming on the channel but if I do you guys will be the first to know when we get there <laughs> um TK stuff vlogmas decorating like I said before um and just like things in general fashion wise random vlogs will still keep coming um I am going to start doing more things on this channel um like I said not too many more things but um it'll definitely be like a different range of stuff like I'm going to start including more stuff with TK as well. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, it's not really a secret or anything, but TK was diagnosed with autism back in um, June or July of last year. Um, so you guys know he's my only child so far. So as a new parent kind of, and dealing with your first kid, being autistic, it's definitely something to get used to. So I'm just trying to like kind of find my motherly role in dealing with um like his mood swings and everything and also like his eating habits trying to get him used to regular food again um that's why I was asking you guys for like tips in a video that I made I want to say pretty much around the end of last year I made a video asking for like recommendations on how to get your kids to transition to kind of more inside the house foods rather than restaurant foods. And then of course, um, like transitioning him into sleeping into his own bed. Things kind of like that stuff, you guys. Um, so I'm kind of dealing with that as a parent. You guys might see like a little section on autism and dealing with kids with autism and like my parental struggles with dealing with he dealing with him with autism I mean he's pretty pretty verbal um so for the fact um I don't think his autism is on like a super um high level but for the fact that he does have it um you can kind of tell when he's upset about something and kind of like when he he's not liking the way something is going or if he wants to eat like a certain thing and I'm not giving it to him you guys will kind of see it there and of course with his delayed speech you guys will kind of see it there as well he also likes to do a lot of repeating um so you may see um something to that extent on this channel as well um, just to branch out a little bit more to parents who may be just starting off with, um, the diagnosis with their children as well. Maybe it'll help somebody who knows, but yeah. Um, so this video is to let you guys know that I am actually going the Mardi Gras route with this, with this outfit for the photo shoot. I am. It's different. Nobody's going to expect it. And it's going to be a plus size look. So I already have ideas in mind for you guys know that my colors were centered around the kind of pink and silver. So I'm going to do different colors of pink. Um, I'm still going to incorporate like the little gold feathers that I bought because they're already purchased. But I'm also going to throw some white and black in there as well. So that it adds like a little bit more color variety. Um, I ramshacked my third room looking for stuff with ideas. I found this old bra. It has the lace, the lace on it and whatnot. Um, you're not going to see any of that once I'm done with this bra. Because I think I'm probably going to either glitter it or cover it up completely. So the only thing you'll probably see with this bra is like the actual band that's connected at the back. Um, so for the most part, yeah, you won't even see the lace on the front of that. And I have this butterfly type of um, 
I think it was like a garland or something. I don't want, I don't know. I'm going to connect this to the bra as well. I have plenty of elastic um, that I'm going to use. But like I said, the colors are pink, white, different shades of pink, white, silver, and um, that goldish color. And then I'm going to incorporate like some rhinestones and all of that stuff and glitter. And it's just going to be like a huge project, you guys. I'm going to do leg pieces. I'm going to do um, wings. And all of these will be included in the DIY. These wings have been completely damaged, which makes them like perfect for this DIY. Because this part is pretty much already covered up. And then this is the inside of the wings which I'm pretty much just going to take all of the good feathers off of it. I'm going to add some more support to the back of the wing so that they're more sturdy. And then I'm going to build on with the feathers that I purchased um, onto that since it's already molded. And then, like I said, you guys, this could possibly turn into a clothing line for queen curves in the future um or maybe like even after i post this video i might receive, start receiving orders on people wanting it so i mean it's definitely something to think about um i'm all for creating a line with this like i'm really interested in it so <laughs> so you guys may see that here coming in the future um i'm also going to do like a belt piece to it so what i'm thinking you guys is the bra part is going to have a line of elastic down to the um i'm doing like a high-waisted black girdle type thing that i'm going to design as well so i'm going to connect that line to the top of the elastic piece of the girdle the front and probably um a line in the back as well that one's going to be a little confusing because of how it will attach but i might just do the front part and then the sides of it um that way it makes more sense <laughs> so to say so we might just do that you guys and then it also will help with the girdles not rolling down because you guys know when when you're plus size and you're wearing stuff like that it, it tends to roll down under your rolls so that might help it like stay in place and up and i'm going to jewel the elastic and um like I said, we're going to have like a middle belt and I'm going to put like danglies and gems all over that as well. Like you guys, I'm just going to go all out with this and I literally have a week. I have a week. So, so we are really going to get to this, get into this like ASAP. It's going down. It's going down. So like, I'm really, really excited. I was thinking about possibly starting it in, in this video. Why is it so dark? Here? There we go. <laughs> so I was thinking about possibly starting it in this video, you guys. Like the start of the decoration, etc. But what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it in another video. And then you guys will get to see like the full process of me making it. And bringing this masterpiece to life. So I just want to come on here and let you guys know that the next video will kind of outline what I'm using and the materials and stuff. And then it will just get into like kind of where to go from there. So you guys stay tuned. See you next time. Like literally in a couple of days. <laughs> Peace out.